Hello and welcome. Welcome back to this video series on understanding information security management system, ISO 27001. Through this video, we shall work at understanding clause number 4.3 and 4.4. Let's start by reading them first. 4.3, determining the scope of information security management system. It reads, the organization shall determine the boundaries and applicability of ISMS to establish its scope. When determining the scope, the organization shall consider a the external and internal issues referred to in 4.1, b the requirements referred to in 4.2, c interfaces and dependencies between activities performed by the organization and those that are performed by other organizations. The scope shall be available as documented information. Perhaps one of the most important constituents of understanding the ISO 27001 standard shall always be to understand the scope of ISO 27001 when you are looking at implementing it within a company. ISO 27001 as an international standard can be implemented in an organization covering all locations of the organization can be implemented at one location of the organization. It could cover one or all products or services provided by the customer. However, ISO 27001 implementation cannot be confined to departments as there are processes from other departments that will have an impact on the overall ISMS implementation. When you look at clause uh, 4 to 10, it lays down the basic framework of the information security management system while the NHR from A5 to A18 lays down several controls. And when you look at implementing ISO 27001 within departments, several controls will be missed. And hence, exclusion from controls will be very difficult. And even more difficult when you set out to convince the external auditor of the exclusion from any control. The standard says that your scope must include the internal external issues that you have identified with respect to clause 4.1 that is the context of the organization or the requirements of the stakeholders that you've identified as a part of clause 4.2 and any, in, uh, any interfaces and dependencies between activities performed by the organization or those performed by other organizations like outsource partners or customers shall also be taken into consideration when defining the scope of ISMS and scope is a mandatory documented information. So this is a very important auditable portion of the ISMS. 4.4, Information Security Management System. The organization shall establish, implement, maintain, and continually improve an information security management system in accordance with the requirements of this international standard. So as laid down by ISO 27000, you must take necessary steps to establish the ISMS, implement the ISMS, maintain the ISMS and work at continually improving the ISMS as per the requirements laid down by the 27001 standard. From an audit perspective, there's nothing much to be looked at from clause 4.4's perspective. I hope uh, the video on 4.3 and 4.4 is been useful to you. Thank you.